Once, the fox stood at the edge of a precipice and beheld my glowing disk in the night sky. Oh, moon, you shine so brightly in the night. You give light to the creatures like myself who want none of the glaring sun and his blinding heat. I looked down upon that sleek creature and pitied his ignorance. Dear fox, I do not shine upon you. I have no light of my own with which to shine. But at night you cast your beloved glow upon the forest and field. So I led him to the lake's edge, where he could stare into the mirror of its waters. I asked him what he saw. I see my own face, and what a handsome face it is. Indeed you do, and indeed it is. But would seeing your face reflected before you make you believe that your face lived in the waters, or that the surface of the lake created your face? Of course not. The fox tilted his head as he pondered my words. I explained to him that what he saw in the waters was simply a reflection, a vague image of himself, but not his true self. Why do you show me this? said the fox. Because as you see your face reflected in the water, so it is with I the moon, so it is with my light. I hold no lantern that shines of its own power. It is the sun's great torch that brings light and warmth to the field and the mountain. But when the sun retreats behind the hills, you cannot feel its warmth or see its light. But I, high in the heavens, can still see the sun. So I hold my great mirror aloft to show you that the sun still burns brightly, even though it is now so far away that its light does not penetrate the dark night. I am not the sun, but the light I reflect reminds you of the wonders that wait for you in the morning. So it must be with you, if you wish to be a light in this darkened world. Nothing you do of your own power can bring that blessed luminescence to this shadowed place. You must first seek the light of God so that you may reflect it to the darkened, hopeless faces of the broken-hearted. Many have looked to me, the moon, and believed as you do that I bring the light and hope in the night. Many have made the mistake of neglecting the wondrous sun and choosing instead to bring me their gratitude because I was the visible presence they could see in the night. If you are to be a light in the darkness, the lost ones of the world will also look to you as their salvation. But make no mistake, my dear child, you can provide them with neither light nor truth if you allow them to praise you rather than the creator of the light. All you can do is what the mirror does, what the lake does, and what the moon does. Simply reflect the glory of a greater power.